going on guys in this video we are going to see how to evaluate the double integral by converting it from Cartesian coordinate to polar coordinate here we have a double integral with Cartesian coordinate and also the region bounded by is this region x is equal to square root of 4 minus y square now to better see this region we can square both sides that's going to give us x square is equal to 4 minus y square and if you rearrange this one that's going to give you x square plus y square is equal to 4 from this one you can see this is a circle this is a circle with radius 2 okay this is a circle with radius 2 but however if you bring this one in bring this one into this format this is going to become x square is equal to 4 minus y square therefore x is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 4 minus y square but if you look at the given region they are only positive we don't have the negative so the region we are interested in is only this part okay the half of the circle now also we have to convert this one into polar coordinates to convert this one we are going to use this one you have to know that x square plus y square is equal to r square if you want to know how did we derive this one you know that in polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta and if you square both of them this is going to be x square plus y square and if you square both and add them this is also going to be square so r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta and here we can take r square common in that way we will get sin square theta plus cos square theta and in trick identity we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 therefore this is going to be equal to r square okay that's how we derive this one now we are going to replace this negative x square minus y square with this with this polar coordinate r now let's get rid of this part we don't need this part we just have to know that x square plus y square is equal to r square now let's rewrite this one in terms of r square now here we are going to have e power we can take the negative common if we take the negative common this is going to become x square plus y square da and instead of x square plus y square I'm going to replace this one with r square so this is going to be e power negative r square okay and uh, when we convert this one into polar coordinate and uh, when we have da we replace this da with r dr d theta and also if you have x dx dy you have to do the same thing you have to convert this one into r dr d theta and let's look at the limits of integration now you can see ins inside limit is dr okay so inside the integration is dr so we have to look at the limits of that one to find that one you can look at this our region bounded region picture from this one you can see the r start from here and if you look go all the way to the end of the circle you will see that's going to end with 2 so it's going from 0 to 2 no matter where you go it's going to go from 0 to 2 okay so the limits of integration for inside is going to be 0 to 2 and let's look at the outside limit like d theta to do that we always count the angle from 0 to here but in this kind of situation we have to go from here to here okay and we know that in circle this is 0 this is 5 uh, 5 by 2 this is 5 and this is 3 by 3 5 by 2 and if you take the limit only from like if you take the limit from here to here you have to take like 0 to 5 by 2 and then 3 5 by 2 to 2 5 so you have to have two different limits in that way it's going to get messy so to make this one easier we can go in the counterclockwise actually this is clockwise right clockwise and counterclockwise so in this way you will get negative 5 by 2 so negative 5 by 2 to positive 5 by 2 that's going to be our limit so this is going to be negative 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 and now we are going to do the integration now from here you can see this is the easy u substitution because we have the derivative outside so we can do the u substitution now let's take our u value let's pick u as r square if we took uh, if we take u as r square our du is going to be 2r dr now here we have r dr only right so we have to rearrange this one du by 2 is going to be equivalent to r dr now we can write everything in terms of u 
now let's continue here okay I'm continuing this part here now I'm going to write everything in terms of u but when we do that we have to take change the limits of integration to change the limits of integration we plug this limits in this equation and if you plug 0 for r that's going to be just 0 and if you plug 2 for r that's going to become 4 so the li new limits of integration is going to be 0 to 4 so here we are going to have negative 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 and here we are going to have 0 to 4 and instead of negative r square we are going to replace that one with e power negative u and instead of r dr we replace that one with d u by 2 so this is going to be just 2 and then d u okay and in the outside we have d theta now let's do the integration and uh, this half is a constant so we can we can just now it's better to write like half e power negative u right in that way you can see it clearly half e power negative u this half is going to do nothing this e power negative u if we integrate this one that's still going to be e power negative u but we have to divide by the negative one right we have to divide by the derivative on top so we have to divide this one by negative one and that's going to give us negative half e power minus u and that's going to give us negative 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 and here we are going to have negative half e power minus u and the limit is 0 to 4 d theta now let's plug the values and if you plug the values negative 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 and here we are going to have negative half e power minus 4 minus minus half e power 0 e power 0 is going to be 1 this minus minus half that's going to make this one plus half okay then d theta now we are going to integrate this one with respect to theta and if you do the integration this is going to become negative half e power negative 4 theta plus half theta and the limit is negative 5 by 2 to 5 by 2 now let's finish this one let's plug this one back so now let's get rid of this part okay we need some space let's get rid of this part okay, let's continue this one here now we have integrated this one already now let's plug this one now let's plug 5 by 2 so this is going to become negative half e power negative 4 5 by 2 and plus half half times 5 by 2 that's going to turn into 5 by 4 minus here we are going to have negative negative 5 by 2 so that's going to become positive 5 by 4 positive 5 by 4 e power negative 4 and then we are going to have negative 5 by 4 negative 5 by 4 okay that's it now let's try to simplify this one this is this can be written as negative 5 by 4 e power negative 4 plus 5 by 4 and here we have negative 5 by 4 e power negative 4 plus 5 by 4 so negative negative 5 by 4 that's going to be negative 2 5 by 4 5 by 4 e power negative 4 and plus plus 5 by 4 that's going to turn into 2 5 by 4 here we can take 2 5 by 4 common and if you do that that's going to become I take this one first so 1 minus e power minus 4 okay now we can reduce this fraction that's going to turn into 5 by 2 times 1 minus e power negative 4 finally you can express this one as 5 by 2 times 1 minus 1 over e power 4 and that's going to be our final answer and that's how we do the double integral by converting Cartesian coordinate into polar coordinates. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.